What's up guys, I'm back from another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be touching up on this little website about the Greenville revamp that a uh, descriptor developer has made. So right here, the most important part and why you guys clicked on the video is about the release date. And it's right here. The revamp update drops before 2021. So that's in the next two and a half to three months. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into some other stuff. So all your data from GV3 will stay. It's not going anywhere. Um, you're getting a full refund for all your cars to rebuy any vehicle you want on the revamp. So that's pretty cool. A uh, whole new set of vehicles with better performance and less lag. And more unified uh, appearance. Which means the game will look completely redone and it will look much better. And your vehicles will get refunded, like I said. And they're also throwing in 10,000 in-game bonus cash reward for any V3 players. And if you played V2 a very long time ago, you get 250,000 in-game bonus. So expect that if you played V2. That would be pretty cool. Just know that any cars that are not returning the revamp update won't be available again. So you won't see those vehicles. So let's see what else here. So what's happening with the game passes really is um, they're combining the supercar pass and the luxury pass. So it's going to be two separate passes. So supercar update or I'm not really sure how this actually is. So one thing to note however is that we're splitting up the supercar vehicles and luxury vehicles into two separate passes. Existing luxury pass owners will get access to the supercars pass at no extra charge. So you guys can just read that over and it should make sense. I'm, it, it makes sense a little bit now. It's basically saying that both updates are getting separated and people will get the supercar pass for free. Whoever owns the luxury pass is what I mean. So whoever owns the luxury pass will get the supercar pass. There. So right here. If you already own the luxury pass in V3, you have nothing to worry about. Everything remains the same and you'll still have access to the same type of cars you had in V3. Alright. So the goal for the performance uh, for the revamp is going to be the same or better than V3. Um, they're doing might the only devices that might notice a slightly low, slower experience are lower end mobile devices and people who are ma maxing out settings, which means there'll be a lot of trees. So we're almost there. We're preparing for the revamp release before 2021, and are super excited for you guys to see what we have in store for the future. We're super thankful for your overwhelming support. We're hoping you all enjoy the future updates we have planned. I think that's going to wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like, subscribe. I'll leave the link to this website in the description so you guys can fully read it. I just picked out some important parts and all that of each se each section. section. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys uh, like, subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.